when we talk about will power we all have many things which we would like to do in our life either for our own self improvement for our contribution in the outer world and for this we need to be able to translate our intention into action so for that purpose we require will power now how i'll try to analyze will power in terms of the bhagavad gita's model of the self the bhagavad gita explains that our self we is a three level existence there's the body the mind and the soul the body the mind and the soul these are like in a computer system we have a hardware software and user the hardware is the body the software is the mind and the user is the soul so <clears throat> what we want to do is say what is coming from the soul that is the intention mm? so the intention comes from the soul the action is done at the level of the body and the action when it is to be done at the level of the body in between is the mind and the mind is the seat of emotions so sometimes our emotions work for us and sometimes our emotions work against us something which is important for us we have to decided to do it sometimes we feel like doing it and sometimes we don't feel like doing it we feel like just giving it up entirely so between our intention which is coming from the soul and the action which is meant to be done at the level of the body is the emotion of the mind this emotion can work favorably and can work unfavorably so when our will power is weak at that time this emotion is working against us and when the emotion works against us at that time we often give up our intention so why does the where does this emotion in the mind come from and why does it work against us so going back to the example of the software the mind is like the software say so suppose somebody has regularly visited some website they say they visited bollywood.com they want to know something about movies and then they come for a spiritual program and they hear about the bhagavad gita now they want to they go to their browser and they want to know something about bhagavad gita they type b and what happens bollywood, bollywood. bollywood comes immediately <laughs> so what has happened over here the the browser the software in it has stored the past preferences and because those past preferences are stored they come as default propositions and when they come as default propositions unless we consciously say no bollywood may come as auto complete and i have to type something else then the bhagavad gita will come but otherwise by default bollywood will come so similarly for us based on the way we have lived in the past the way we have thought the kind of emotions we have felt based on that certain emotions automatically come within us so those emotions are like the auto completes which come on the browser and so, sometimes the auto complete may take us where we want to go say so if we have visited bhagavad gita many times in the past i type p immediately bhagavad gita comes so like that there are some things which we also which we intend to do which are good for us we like it also as some some of us may like music and when we want to practice music at that time oh i start feeling so good about music so in some cases the auto auto complete may work for us in some cases it may work against us so basically the intention the emotion and the action these three are the components for us to implement our resolutions whatever will power we want that means from the stage of intention to the stage of action so how do we will we move forwards so if i take a metaphor of a airplane an airplane takes off from one point flies through the air and then lands at the destination so we could say our intention is like the take off point and the action that we do want to do that is like the landing point so from the intention to the destination from the take off to the landing in between sometimes something goes wrong 
So the plane crashes along the way. So our resolutions crash. Now why do the resolutions crash? Because just like when a plane is moving through the air, if the plane runs out of fuel, then no matter how expert the driver may be, the, pilot, so the pilot's expertise will not matter much if the fuel is not there. So, just the intention of the pilot or the expertise of the pilot won't get them if the fuel is not there. Now, the, for us, similarly, the fuel that will take us along, that sometimes falls short. So, usually... Some people say, I have weak willpower. And may say, some people you may hear about some people who are great achievers in their life. They have strong willpower. So now, is it that we are born with a certain level of willpower? Some people have a lot and some people have less. It may be that we all have different levels of willpower. But willpower is not some mystical gift that some people have and some people don't have. Every one of us can develop it. It's like, Anybody can fuel their car, their, their plane adequately and then the plane will fly. Of course, it could be that some planes themselves have limited capacity. So, if the fuel capacity of the plane itself is limited, then say it can cover 500 miles. And if you embark on a journey of 1000 miles, no matter how much fuel we put in, it will not be enough. Then in that case, the plane has to land, refuel, and then again start after that. 